Well, the best uh, advancement obviously now is uh, the introduction of uh, the uh, an approved uh, regimen and uh, this approved regimen is uh, the use of daratumumab, cyclophosphamide, bortezomib and dexamethasone then uh, thanks to the Andromeda clinical trials that was uh, concluded a few year, couple of years ago. Now this is the first approved regimen for newly diagnosed AL patients and obviously is changing the landscape of the treatment for this disease. The second most important challenge is uh, the introduction of specific guidelines uh, that uh, the ISA, in collaboration with EHA, issued last year for transplant patients and for non-transplant chemotherapy. In the guidelines, it is clearly reported that patients with a cardiac stage from 1 to 3A are eligible for the uh, Cyborg-D plus Daratumumab trial, so the approved drug. The met need is uh, the optimal drug uh, regimen for advanced stage of the disease, so the so-called stage 3B patients, that still remain an unmet need. They still remain patients that have to be treated with uh, uh, drugs in accord with the reduced regimen that are approved, that are used. So for this we need obviously to wait results of the ongoing EMN22 trust study about the use of sub -Q daratumumab alone uh, and also probably we have we and there are also few uh, recently reported reports uh, about uh, uh, the treatment uh, the use of daratumumab and also daraseborde in this setting but we largely awaited uh, uh, collaborative studies in order to find the optimal and the best treatment for this subset population.